Virgo, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. Now, if you are watching this, Virgo, trust that there is a message here for you. Oh, and that message begins with nothing is set in stone. Okay. Now, it feels like when this card comes through that you can still maybe influence an outcome or a decision, or maybe you're worried about, you know, a worst case scenario here, but nothing is set in stone, okay? It feels like there is still possibility for things to turn out in a really positive way. Now let's build on this message. I've got the Divine Abundance Oracle here, Virgo. And we've got, ooh, Outrageous openness and it says open me to your will release me from my attachments surprise and delight me with your plan you know what's needed and I am open to receive okay so what I, I have here is that you know it's almost like you are being moved to the next part of your life plan and you're really being asked to surrender to uh, what may need to leave your life, what may be arriving in your life, but nothing yet is set in stone. I feel like we're in a bit of a state of flux or transition and you're being asked to be outrageously open to the potential and possibilities as you really do transition into the next part of your plan. All right, well, let's dig deeper on this. Going to the full tarot deck now. And yes, this is a tarot deck, my very first round tarot deck. This is the Accurate AF Tarot from Prism and Fleur. It is a gorgeous deck. Now, yes, I was gifted this deck, but I had already had my eye on this one. Now, um, there is a discount code below this video if you'd like to get your very own one. You can get 15 that's the first card. You can get 15% off. Um, no, I'm not getting any kickbacks or I'm not sponsored, but I was gifted this deck. And um, yeah, I, I really love the design and I uh, will be using this a lot. You'll see this in my videos. Okay, first card out is the Hierophant. And by the way, I love the keywords on the cards that help you uh, read it if you are new to tarot. Hierophant, number five in the Major Arcana. Now, for me, the Hierophant, well, it is Taurus energy. I'm dealing with a Taurus. But the Taurian energy coming through with the Hierophant is asking you to really review the big commitments in your life, right? Um, could be a relationship, could be work career, could be where you're living, could be, you know, your value system. It's kind of, um, you know, challenging traditional settings. Now, also with this card here, you might have had a spiritual awakening, you might have had a shift in values or priorities, and now you might be needing to make different decisions, or maybe you're really wanting to realign your life with this new version of you, which is really just the fact that you're very clear on your truth now. And maybe when you, you know, committed to whatever this was, you did so from a different version of yourself. Maybe it's not a fit anymore. Now, nothing is set in stone, but it feels like it's time for you to make that decision based on, you know, your new values and the knowledge that you have now. All right, let's go further, Virgo. And I have the sun. That is a gorgeous energy. It's Leo energy coming through. And it really talks about a, a new path that is opening up that is very positive, right? I mean, we talked about the positive outcomes. And it usually comes after overcoming a, an obstacle or a challenge. Um, it's a healing energy. It illuminates the path forward. And usually it's the green light to move forward if you have a decision on your heart about a new direction here leads to positivity and abundance. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, three of cups. Yeah, absolutely. So it feels like you will celebrate new growth. This is celebrating the outcome of the decision. It says that you're heading in the right direction. And the number three is coming through. It's about creation. You're creating something new here. You're creating a new path. What else do we have? And the ace of cups. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we clearly have you moving towards an emotional new beginning. 
the Hierophant. Now you might actually be moving into a new commitment. You might not be reviewing an old one, but I feel like you are doing this or moving into this from a different place than what you've moved into new beginnings before. Okay. Now anything is possible. That's the energy I have. And you're being, you know, asked to be outrageously open to possibility. So the Ace of Cups is something that's going to bring you great happiness, but it's the very beginning of it here. Now, for some of you, like I said, this could be a new relationship. It could be a non-traditional uh, work career situation that you think is really going to fill your cup. It might be creative. It might be more meaningful. You might be helping others, that type of thing. For others of you, this could even be a conception journey with the cups energy and the sun, like actually, you know, falling pregnant. But nothing is yet set in stone and it feels like you can influence this positive outcome with your energy, actions and decision. I've got the King of Swords coming through. That is an Aquarius energy and it's asking you to see the big picture here and, you know, make your decision to move forward based on that, based on what you're really wanting for your future, based on your truth. Hierophant, not on what you know society says you should be doing or your family or you know um, uh, what's traditionally you know respected this is about your journey to truth you might be dealing with the king of swords whether that is a, a partner or uh, the owner of a business or a boss or manager this is someone who's articulate intelligent and very much in their king energy and I have fortitude. Okay, that's the strength card coming through. So what I'm seeing here in this reading is that you're being asked to have the strength, courage and determination to move towards an emotional new beginning. Now, nothing is yet set in stone because I don't think you've said yes to this. For some of you, it may not have uh, shown yet. And this is your indication to stay outrageously open, to keep manifesting, to keep taking action. But very soon it feels like there is either a new commitment or a shift in a commitment here that feels very positive. The sun energy coming through indicates a bright, positive new path, maybe after a struggle or challenge. I have got double Leo energy, Taurus and uh, Aquarius here so you may be dealing with one of those signs but ultimately we have a celebrated outcome here and uh, really Virgo I just wish you the very best with it so that's what I have for you I will leave it there and if you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances you will find the link down below to my website where you can check those out uh, don't forget to like share comment and please do hit subscribe on your way out it makes all the difference with these readings uh, actually kind of going somewhere and getting some reach which makes it sustainable so I'd be very grateful for that and do come across to Instagram if you're interested in daily readings and content and more from me I'd love to have you over there I am just wishing you so much love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.